Hey, Spirit Blade, welcome. Good to see you. I think everybody's lost. I think everybody is gone. I don't know if this is going to work. It might be just me and you. One to one. But I don't know if everybody's still stuck in that other the other chat. Nobody's coming over here, it doesn't look like. Let's see here. Oh, well. <clears throat> One of those days. Hey, MJ. Good to see you. Welcome back. True, true, true. Technical difficulties? Well, I was just trying to get the buffering fixed to see if I can't fix that because everybody was saying that they couldn't see anything and it was all buffering so no point in doing that <clears throat> hey Troy thank you Merry Christmas happy holidays to you I, I guess it was me. There was enough people that were complaining about it that it had to have been something on my end or YouTube's end. So I've tried to fix my end of it the best I can. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can't get other folks back in here. Reset mode. Maybe I should reset my modem. I think I've seen that MJ, his his philosophy on big knives. I'm about to check it out again. Your Mac just died. Oh man, it's messed up. Yeah, my main computer died. I'm trying to build another one. Got a buddy working on getting me a a build together. So that I don't have to buy another computer for, for many, many moons. This cotton sampler is modified, yes. Um, Doc, Eric Holiday modified that for me. Gave me a little easy opening cut out there. So he did that for me. So that, that, is, that is modified. All right, let's see. Let's see if anybody else can show up. It doesn't look like many people are going to show up here. All right, so we'll just talk. What do you guys got to talk about? What do you guys got coming in this week? What are your Christmas plans? Let's see, my Christmas... Oh, just about cut myself. My Christmas plans. I have none. I think I'm going to... Tomorrow, I might go Christmas arm wrestling. But that's about it. And then, of course, Christmas Eve, we'll get together with the family a little bit. Christmas, we'll have a little get together, but the big stuff's going to happen the end of next week, and that's going to be when my brother and his bird get in here. So that'll be fun. That'll be the more exciting part of Christmas and stuff. Oh, you know, it'd be cool. I could have my brother come in. If he's here on Friday, we could do a Friday night with him. He's a he's an award winning. Uh, barbecue comp competitor and kind of a master chef kind of guy. We could have him in here to explain how to do real brisket for us. I don't know if he'll do that, but we'll see. You know how those guys are. They're kind of secretive. On They're secretive with their secrets, which makes sense because that's the meaning of secrets. <clears throat> anyway, so we're going to, maybe we can do that. I wanted to get my wife in here to talk to you guys too. We'll see how it goes. Bought my son a lightsaber for Christmas. He'll be stoked. Just got back from watching new Star Wars. Cool. I want to see the new movie, Uncut Gems. I haven't checked that one out yet. I'll have to check that out.
Yeah, my special five. Well, it's just the five minute opening, Cameron. It's a special, <laughs> a special technique that I can show you. <laughs> that, that if you don't start out your barbecue that way, it's not going to end up the way you want it. So make sure it's not under anything covered, and you're going to want about six feet of flame. And you want to bury the peg on your thermometer that's on your on your smoker. You just kind of go from there. Sharp by design void should be coming soon. And Brian has a large one coming. Cool. Yeah, I would like to get mom in here too. That would be cool. <laughs> That's right. That's right, David. That's where you sear in the flavor. <laughs> you get the crust that you're looking for early into the cooking. So you don't have to do any kind of preheating or anything like that. It's like having a personal dragon starting your fire for you. <clears throat> Alright, what was I talking about? Alright, Uncut Gems. Yeah, I think we're going to go see Star Wars when my brother gets here. So we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Yes, yeah, 3,000 degrees here. That's what we're looking for, Big Red. Yeah, <laughs> that's good smoke. Uh, it was really, really good. It was delicious, and, and it turned out really good. I like that I hadn't used the apple wood before, like I said. So I used the apple wood. That turned out tasty. But I'm sure that the flame and everything else did something to it. You know, burnt ends is basically what I'm cooking there, MJ. Because of the way I, I chop it up and stuff, I'm getting more burnt ends. So that when I when I chop up the brisket, it's actually got all the different what do you like the the bark on more 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 surface area. So it ends up being like a whole brisket of burnt ends that you chop up and so you got all these flavor crystals all throughout the meat instead of just this one portion. <clears throat> and if you're making chopped brisket, there's I can't think of any better way to make it than that. And I've I've made briskets and you know sliced brisket and all that and that's different. But for chopped brisket, if you're making barbecue, if you're making tacos or something like that, you're gonna end up making chili out of it. You can't you can't get around it. It's just awesome. <clears throat> Yeah, I've used hickory, and I've used apple. I really like the apple. I'm going to stick with the apple. I wasn't a huge fan of the cherry wood, but I might try that again on something like a, like chicken or turkey or something. But I wasn't a huge fan of cherry, but I really like the apple. That was kind of a cool discovery. But now I don't know if it was the apple or the actual fire emergency that I caused that gave it the great flavor but either way I'm going to try it again not the fire emergency of course but the apple itself Big Red is drooling yeah me too I got a good drool on the thing was I only got a little bit of, bit of that brisket went to my wife's work for a party she was having so yeah I got the brisket munchies now but I'm going to end up making I'll probably end up making a couple in the next week or so and then my brother's coming in and he told me he's going to make the greatest brisket ever made by man. So we've got that to look forward to. So he's got some stuff. Never had cherry wood come out really well. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, when I used it, it kind of gave it that that lighter fluid, chemically, chemical oh, flavor to it if you know what I'm talking about that flavor it's like over smoked almost but, but that came really quick with that brother brisket beat down <laughs> yeah no it would it would be a he'd have to tie one brisket hand behind his back and maybe hop on one foot because he's the one that taught me just about everything I know he's something else but yeah it would be cool to talk to him with you guys He's got some, a lot of knowledge on that stuff. Been with some of the... He's studied under a lot of the greats. I mean, like, if you can think of barbecue greats, he's studied with them and talked to them and taken their classes. So all the guys at the top that you can think of. 
That Green Bark River can be a Grinch chopper or take down a Christmas tree. This. This right here. I'm going to take this out on December 26th for Grinch Day shopping. And for returns and just getting through, getting through large crowds of people. I just made some beef jerky. Oh man, I need to make some beef jerky. It's been months since I made beef jerky. Yeah, beef jerky, that's good stuff. Homemade beef jerky is impossible. You, you eat homemade beef jerky, and then you'll get the store-bought stuff, and it's just, it's just terrible. It's like watching your favorite movie done with sock puppets. You can kind of see the story there, but it's not the same. It's not the same when Sock Puppet Michael kisses Sock Puppet Fredo and says, I know it was you, Fredo. <laughs> you broke my heart. It wasn't the same. You know, the story's there. So, <laughs> Store Bought Beef Jerky is Sock Puppet Theater. <laughs> That's what it is. Big Red, we did our own Applewood smoked bacon that came out. Oh, man, I bet that was awesome. That would be awesome. Smoke your own bacon. That would be good. Man, I love apple. Smoke. I'm gonna give me some bacon. I need some bacon. My just jowls full of drool over here. It's just gross. Look like Turner and Hooch. I look like Hooch. I'm just gonna shake it off. Man, it sounds good. Some bacon, some brisket. That sounds like a good chili making. All right. Let's see. So, what else we got going on next couple of days? The sock father. Yeah. <laughs> Next couple days. So, like I said, we got family coming in. I'm gonna make some brisket for the fire department for being so nice to me. <laughs> so, I'll make them a Christmas Eve brisket and some make some tacos for them for uh, just being really cool and understanding. They were really nice. It was I don't know. It was just really cool. I figured they were gonna be upset. They came out. They came out. It just looked like I was smoking. Just. And, but they came out. It was kind of embarrassing. The giant truck and the flashing lights out in front of the house. And like I said, it looked like a smoky, foggy London street all the way down the block. <laughs> but, so at least they could see what I had done before they got there. So they knew that I wasn't making it up. But, uh, the orange fish plates, yeah, these are great. I got some great deals on these too. I figure which one is which, but some guy was selling one of these. I think it was two fifty or something like that on eBay. In fact, when I sent a picture of it to John Demko, I was, I said, "Hey, do you, what can you tell me about this place? He said, "Where'd you get that?" And I told him. He said, "Man, nobody sells those things." And then a buddy of mine, like, uh, emergency texted me, Hey, look, this is over on Arizona Custom Knives. And so I ran over there and was able to snag that one, too. Not as not as inexpensive, but still, it's kind of cool to be able to get those. My two first Demco fixed blades, and the only ones I have. And then I got those hawks going out. The hawks are on the way! So Cesar's getting a hawk and Chadman's getting a hawk. MJ, what are you getting? What's MJ getting? Oh, he's getting the the Spada XL. This thing's awesome, Weekend Warrior. Just a true beast. I love this knife. It's so awesome. It's just a great knife. If you get a chance to beat up something with one, it's all awesome. 3V. Let's see, we got XHP, XHP, 3V, 4V. Bacon and fresh baked bread are two of the best. Oh, yeah. Fresh baked bread. Mom used to make fresh baked bread. And then she cut it about that thick. And then dad would put it in the pan with the butter and just. Oh, God. I'm going to choke on my own drool. That was so delicious tasting. Yeah, fresh baked bread is awesome. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Ho Ho giveaway. 
I don't know if y'all, any of y'all have missed it, but a lot of people have already gone over there and checked that video out. So we get the Ho Ho giveaway going over there. We're giving out three different knives. Giving out the that CJRB sheep's foot cleaver one. I can't remember the name of it. I should, but it's, I keep drawing a blank. Oh, and we're giving out. Oh, we're giving out the Green Micarta Cotton Sampler from Rough Rider, which, I don't know, it might be my favorite, my favorite, see I have one, or I wouldn't have gave that one away, not that that's a nice thing to do, but I really like that Cotton Sampler, oh man, I need to change out my drawer knives, because I keep showing you guys the same knives, when I get into my drawer, so I'm going to have to change these out, anyways, here's that, here's the one we're giving out, not this one, but we're giving out one like that, and then we're giving out the K-Bar Dozier. And it's a really easy giveaway. No counting. No checking out which time I said what or how many fingers I put up or secret knocking codes. Nothing like that. It's just getting over there, check out the video, follow the instructions, and that's it. Super easy. Crag, thank you. All right, Big Red, tell me. CJRB Crag, that's what it's called. Espada XL. MJ, that thing's a beast. Man, it's a good knife. It's a crazy good knife. It's just so much fun. Yes, I need to change my drawers. I do. <laughs> yeah, I gotta change my drawers. Alright, what else is going on? Oh, I'm gonna be doing some... I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Another giveaway. I gotta do another giveaway. So I'll be checking out... Not tomorrow. I got too much going on tomorrow. Maybe Sunday we'll do a giveaway. I got a, a really cool giveaway. I can't tell you what it is just yet. But Sunday, have a look see. Keep keep on the lookout. Type in your computer to notify you of giveaway. Any giveaway notifications from the Jimmy's last channel because there's one coming up. That's gonna be really cool. Oh, lots of cool different things coming up too. I can't talk about it because I don't know for sure but there's some other stuff coming up that's going to be awesome at least awesome for me you know I always say it's going to be awesome but it's going to be awesome for me I'm excited about it and excited to do some different things I'll tell you what we got a lot of, of good stuff to start piff with next year too you know we do the big piffness thing and sometimes like last year we got depleted but this year it wasn't as bad so we have, we'll have a good start to piff miss or to piff in the upcoming year so also be looking out for that video look out for the piff sign up video for 2020 it's gonna be different it's gonna be a different video than or a different sign up list than for piffmas this year so be looking out for that we're gonna do a new sign up list like we did last year kind of worked out better that way because it helped get boxes into the hands of the folks that are a little bit not super active on the channel you don't have to be super active but at least a part of the channel and I'm, you know last the year before I've sent out piff boxes and people email me or, oh I didn't I, well, what are you doing or hey why'd you send this to me or I wasn't even on the list or I forgot about this this was from last year and that's fine I don't mind doing that just for some people but I want a bunch of a bunch of y'all stuff that y'all are donating to go to people that not don't appreciate it, but don't really know where it's coming from and can't can't appreciate what the channel is doing as far as what the people on the channel are doing. So that's why we're doing it again this year. But we still got enough boxes out. I think this year with Piffmas we'll be around 350. 350 boxes sent out this year. So it should put us really close to 1500 boxes since we started PIF at least 1500 and even if you start if you count giveaways and Ubers and different things like that we're we're over 1500 so that'd be 1500 boxes that we've done in under three years so it's going pretty good it's like a box and a half a, a day average so that works out nice do, 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 do. Yeah, Smoky Mountain. 
they really helped out the channel a lot. So that's pretty cool. They've done a lot for us. And uh, it's pretty, it's awesome. Piff list cloud backup. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna find a backup for the Piff list. Yeah, that's a lot of money in shipping. You figure, I was figuring if it, you know, because each package is eight bucks in shipping. So that's what, 12 grand in shipping. And then just, just say there's an average of uh, 10 bucks in goodies. So then you're looking at another $15,000 in goodies that we've sent out. So we're closing on close to $30,000 worth of stuff that the channel has given out in the last three years. It'll be three years in February, I think. So, y'all have done a lot of stuff. Y'all made a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of people happy. A lot of, there's 1,500 happy moments out there that y'all have created. And that's pretty cool, just to think about that. At least, you know, like I said, one and a half moment average a day. So, on average, I mean, most of it's all conglomerated in the Pithmas time, but on average, you're causing one and a half happy thoughts. So three happy thoughts every two days for the last three years. That's pretty cool. Y'all are doing good stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's cool, David. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. A little bit my way, mostly their way though. So, most of the stuff from them. <clears throat> yeah, Cesar, that's a lot of happy and a lot of, you know, all the cool stuff that I've seen over, over the last three years. People just sending in saying, I was doing this, worst day ever, got home, saw this box waiting for me and it just gave me a little bit of break from my bad day or my bad week or and so it's really cool it's, and like i always compare it to grandma's birthday card it's not going to make you rich or it's not going to change your collection but it's kind of cool to know that grandma's thinking about you and in this instance we are grandma so we're grandma's birthday card of the knife community and sometimes we give out better stuff i mean we get for giveaways we give out lots of cool stuff and expensive stuff but we're definitely i don't know I, I hate to make it seem more than it is but like making touching people's lives and making people happy a little bit here and there so y'all are doing it and it's been awesome <clears throat> yes and there is candy for sure candy in the boxes Merry Christmas, Jimmy. I'm new to the channel this week and enjoying the content. Oh, cool. Good to have you, Mark. Awesome. Always cool to see new people. You know, it's cool to see the, the sub count go up, but it's also cool to talk to the new folks. And the folks that are new say they're new. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome, Todd. I appreciate it. I try to... I try to... Um, make make it a little bit light more lighthearted than than mechanical and just stuff you could find out on the internet but so that's what i've been trying to do just make people happy laugh entertain a little bit through knives <clears throat> yeah it's got to be fun that's for sure is my injury better it must be better because I don't know which injury you're talking about. Let me see. Which one are you talking about? I've been so injured through arm wrestling and my hands all cramped up. You should just do videos reading specs of the BHQ website. I did an SMKW video the other day of reading the, their website. So, yeah. But I know what you're talking about for sure. Yeah, MJ, that's right. And what's cool is it's when it is, I don't know. I, you know, we get a lot of bad stuff that happens. Not like 
bad stuff in the group but you know people have bad days and stuff and there are a lot of people that reach out to other people in the group reach out to me and it gives man see once again i don't want to be overstepping the importance of what we're doing but there's a lot of people that that find a connection in our group even like especially the facebook group and able to talk to people and we've had people that have dealt with uh, depression or even deaths in the family or even, even silly stuff like I lost my favorite knife it it's all over the place but it's cool to have people that are going to sympathize with you and give you a, a kind ear to listen and that's pretty cool and like I've said before I love knives and if I if I didn't and if I had something else I would have talked about that and tried to create the same environment in a different area but this seemed like the way to go. It was just really like knives, so it worked out that way. And somebody, oh, I think it was last year I was saying this. I think I said it on live stream, and then we had one guy that was after me, like negative and angry. And I said in the live stream, maybe in the live stream, or maybe been in a private message to this knucklehead, that, hey, knives are the secondary thing here. People are the primary issue on the channel, especially in the group so he went on some other knife big facebook knife thing and complained about how i said knives are secondary and but I, i'll back that up and i'll say that whenever you know us being friends and us being friendly and is more important than whatever stupid knife we have to talk about today or whatever so <clears throat> yeah but you're right mj a lot of good stuff goes on Gregory, it was from the arm wrestling. Yeah, I'm all I'm all healed up from arm wrestling. And I might do some more practice tomorrow. I'm not sure. Lots of caveman grunts and beating up on a wood tray. Yeah, I've invested in more wood trays, so there you go. And lots of coupons have died. Now that I'm getting them back since my wife took away my treasure trove of coupons. Yeah, there's a lot of different groups that are... That are cool and decent to people Cesar but a lot of them are just <laughs> he's going to other groups and they're just angry and trolly sometimes Doug glad to see you're safe and sound at the smell of smoke the other night yeah it worked out well it worked out really well so I should consider Indian leg rest I've seen that I don't think I'm flexible enough to do that I wouldn't be able to, to get in the right position I'd be like a turtle on my back just trying to flip over so that's what I end up looking like it would be Indian leg wrestling myself not to die on my back but I've seen that not with that attitude <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> winning is all about attitude I've already defeated myself all right Decent place, decent folks on the internet is mostly not. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good place to find some nice people to talk to. You'd have advantage with this low center of gravity. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine having the pains that I have in my arms in my legs, so... Some people just need to realize if you act like an idiot, you hear me like going, yeah, I have zero idiot tolerance. I get all kinds of rude comments in, in the videos, whether I'm an idiot about what I thought about that, or you're a moron, or, and then, you know, I could sit there and dwell and start a little internet fight with them, and I just block her from the channel, so I don't have to hear from them again. I'm not talking about getting on there and not agreeing with what I've said. So if you if I say this is the greatest fixed blade in the history of man, and you're like, well, no, I have a big Chris Chopper, and you're wrong. I think this one is. That's fine. But if I say this is the greatest blade in the history of man, and this guy says, you're ducked in the head, and your mom's an idiot, and I'm pretty sure your dad's on drugs, and yeah, you're going bye-bye. I blocked Eric. It was refreshing. <laughs> That's why he's not here. Eric's been blocked. He's been trumped by the, the Chad men. 
Hey, James, thank you for being here. Good night. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point in sitting here worrying about idiots. I mean, it gets to me every once in a while, but I... So I sit there and I think, oh, I'm going to type this. I have a long answer type. I'm like, you're da, 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 you know, this and that. And, went, and I said, well, you know what? This guy wanted to start trouble, and this is what he's looking for. And I'm too old not to realize that. And I'm still stupid in, in the fact that I'm not old enough to realize automatically what people are trying to do. But sometimes my maturity catches up with my my stupidity, and I do the right thing and just get rid of it. Just oh. life is short. We should spend as much time as possible arguing about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I only got a few short years on this planet. We'll spend a bunch of them just arguing with people that don't matter. What knife did I EDC today? I EDC this thing here. This little Reiki. Reiki? Is it Rake? This thing is awesome. I don't know if y'all, I don't even know the n name of it. It's, I think it's a number name. The P671CB. If you like thumb studs, it's awesome. Put a little thing on here. Even without the lanyard, it's good in hand. If I put this on here just to help me a little bit for in different positions, I can hold on to it like a, like a sloth tail or, not a sloth tail, but chimpanzee tail. But the action's good. You can spidey flick it. Super easy. I love the bigger thumb studs on this thing. I like the, the offsetting colors of the black. The black, well, I guess that's G10 on the metal there. So I like that too. And it's also a front flipper. So it's a lot of cool things, but most of all, it's a great knife. So I put a little bit of a strop on that thing. Got it nice and razor sharp. And that's what I've been carrying today. We have not talked about the 4MAX Scout. Does anybody know anything about it? Or what's going on there? Man, I cannot wait for the 4MAX Scout to come out. That's going to be awesome. Like a budget, I'm guessing it's going to be like a budget 4MAX. What we, it's going to be, I'm, it, what is it going to be like the, that Voyager Grivix kind of feel to it? I don't know. I think it'll be super awesome. Like a Voyager Grivix with the Aus 10 4MAX blade. That would be... It's a 4MAX and a Scout. Thank you. <laughs> but that would be awesome. To have a blade of... Like a budget 4MAX. You can just... I mean, you can beat up on the other 4MAXs. Now I gotta bring out a 4MAX. If I have one available. So, yeah. So, this is... If y'all have not seen it. It's like this is all like Grivix looking... And it's got 4MAX Scout over here on the blade. Oh, man. I cannot wait. I see a couple of those in my future, for sure. Check that out. Man, that would, just imagine. Well, I don't, what would you pay for something like that? Like an Aus 10 4MAX. If it had the same kind of beefy lockup. Something like that. I don't know. I would be worth like 130 bucks, Kind of like the AD10 prices. That would be a... I'd pay that for sure. That would be sweet. It's got an edge for cut. Chad is being super helpful. <laughs> Austin, yeah. Austin would be an awesome 4MAX. Hey, Paul. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Always cool to see Paul. Paul is a master sharpener. I don't know if y'all know that. You have to check him out and his ability to create razor sharp edges. <clears throat> Which reminds me, hey, everybody's here probably knows each other already, but if you got Instagram stuff to promote or throw out your throw out your Instagram tags if you want to while we're waiting. Just thinking about Paul and his business made me think about that. So go ahead and do that. Isn't the eighty ten the budget four max? No, the eighty ten is the is the smaller. It's it's the Franco Colombo to the Arnold Schwarzenegger. So it's just a smaller knife. See? So you got the 8010 and then the 4 Max. But the other, the budget 4 Max is going to be the 4 Max, the Scout. I'm guessing, I don't know. I The first time I saw it was today. It was awesome. 
you know, I'm not crazy about the way that Kiridashi looks, but, you know, that may change once I get it in hand. <clears throat> oh, dang. $669, yeah. Yeah, but if you could split that in half and still have the... We don't know, Jerry. Jerry's Woodshop, we don't know. I'm guessing Aus 10, maybe. I don't... It seems like what they're using now for their their different budget stuff or even not their budget stuff like this spot as a stuff has Aus 10 in them so I don't know I think that would be pretty cool Aus 10 budget formax I'm gonna get one as soon as I can beat the mess out of it I mean it's not anything I wouldn't do to a regular formax I carry formaxes but if it's a little bit lighter and the same strength and the same kind of attitude, that would be really cool. And just having a different form actually would be cool. I have so many knives and nothing to cut. You're not taking enough Ubers. You get back into the Uber, the Uber situation, Chad. You might have missed it, but what's the knife and the leather sheath? These are these are just the sheaths for these orange fixed blades here. These are my Dimco sheets here for the various Dimco four maxes and five maxes. I think this is the I think this is the eighty ten. I don't know. I forget what they told me. Is that the eighty ten blade? No, I don't know. It's got the four max length on there. Yeah, it's like a fixed blade four max basically. <clears throat> not the 4116 I would buy one at 4116 I have no problem with that for a budget steal I'm not sure I'd pay 130 bucks on it but I would still pay some money for a 4116 4 Max so there there we go with that alright so it was a, dun, 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 the one next oh this is the that GEC, let me see, Doc tells me what the number is all the time, so I can remember the number. The 43, does that sound right? He's, I think the first two numbers are what it is, so it's a GEC 43, does that sound about right? There's that. The Dimco Hawks don't have sheaths, not when I bought them, so, but you can always contact them and see if they'll fix you up with a sheath. Oregon Trapper, okay. <clears throat> the 43. Yeah, you can talk to the Dimcos and see if they can get you a sheath. I'm not sure how much it'll cost. When I got the Hawks, I was more interested in just having the Hawks and the sheath. That was because, and it sounds silly, but at that time, Hawks weren't legal to carry in Texas. And I was wanting it to be, I don't know why I didn't know that when I bought them, but now they're legal here in Texas. I might give me another one just for the truck. So having a sheath would be pretty cool. <laughs> Carry my hawk sheath in the hall. <laughs> well, it's on its way. So hopefully it'll be there to you guys by Monday. Yeah, it should be there by Monday. And Oh, shoot. Oh, never mind. Just something, something popped in my head. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty cool slip joint. I mean, I'll, I don't remember where I bought this. I think I bought this online. Yeah, I didn't buy this at Blade Show. I bought that one online. And then Doc made me a slip for it, which is pretty awesome. If you mail today, it'll be after Christmas. Oh, I hope not. I'm sorry. Hey, I, mean, I hope that's not right. Hey, John. Merry Christmas. See you later. Thanks for being here. I've been making my own bushcraft type knives from old saw blades, and they're turning out okay. That's awesome. Very cool. I have a cool saw blade knife that a guy made for me. From an old, old sawmill blade from the early 1900s. And I would go find... Oh, hey, hey. 
it's sitting out right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, prepare yourselves because this is about to happen. Oh, <laughs> check that out. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that monster. Dead gun. That thing's awesome. Here, check it out from this side. Oh, man. This is a brisket destroying machine. This thing is so awesome. Look at that. I forget what wood that is. Oh, sage with carbon fiber bolster there. Check that monster out. Look at that thing. This is all that is blade. Let me see if I can get that corner to corner angle here for. Get that on there. Tell you what, I'm going to pick this up reverse so I can just grab a whole bunch of blades here when I get off the live stream. Sarah, your Silent Hill Executioner just arrived. That's what it looks like, yeah. Old Pyramid Head. He's going to be carrying this thing. That Houston Mail Center rides the struggle bus, though. Yeah, they're going through some problems over there for sure. Yeah, see, that's what uh, <laughs> Chad just said, David. Definitely Silent Hill-like for sure. Oh, Buddy over at Tree of Liberty made this. He makes some really cool knives. I need to get some more of his stuff. There was a guy at my wife's work that told me if I would help him learn how to make brisket, he would let me come do some stuff in his knife shop, knife, knife workshop. So I'm hoping I can learn enough from my brother this week to make it a worthwhile venture for the guy that I'm going because I'm kind of a one trick pony in the barbecue, the barbecue arena. Oh, look at that. Trip to the hospital, coming soon. If I can't burn you out, I'm gonna slice myself out. <clears throat> All right, what else you guys got coming in? Anything cool coming in? Any cool family coming in? Long lost relatives? Man, this thing's so cool. Man, I like this knife a lot. I really should use it more. Cool relatives coming in, family. Anything excellent you're doing for Christmas? Any excellent gifts that you bought anybody for Christmas? What about that? I'm trying to think. I've gotten a lot of knives to people for Christmas. And, you know, the problem is with buying really cool knives for people for Christmas is they don't understand how cool they are. So you can buy them a a you know decent thirty dollar knife and then you can buy them you know hundred and thirty dollar knife and or you could buy them a two hundred and thirty dollar knife and they're all gonna have the same feeling about it so and not that you're looking for excitement. Well you are you're kinda looking for the level of excitement for what you're giving to them. So C Rustic Gen I don't know that one. Big red I'll have to check that out. Come up five knives for different family. Yeah, I got a bunch of knives for people. Got a bunch of knives for folks. So I'm getting my dad. I got somebody the provoke. I got a friend of mine the CRKT provoke, and then I bought another friend a really nice brisket knife. Oh, I hope they're not watching. And then I got course family and stuff, a bunch of different knives. Yeah, you know, I get my brother a knife. I've been getting my brother a knife every year for the last couple of years. So I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna give him this year. We'll see. Do 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 Alright, well, I think oh shoot, I just lost everything. Nope, still lost it. All right, I think we get off of here with uh, the mistakes I've made. I don't know if they made two versions, David. But that's a good knife. Unnumbered or numbered, that's a good knife. No, I'm not getting off here for the smoke for sure, Doug. I'm just going to get off of here because uh, I've run out of time. I gotta get going because I had to rebuffer everything. So I'm, I've reached my, my time limit and I gotta get going. But I appreciate y'all being here. 
Thanks for putting up with the buffering and the whatnot, and I'll see if I can keep that messed up away from here next time. And y'all have a good weekend. And if I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. I'll be doing a live stream on Christmas for the Ho Ho giveaway, so hopefully I'll see you then. And I'll talk to y'all later.